Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my playlist where I'm covering Swell.js and in next couple of videos we are going to play with more examples so that we can cover more and more core concepts of Swell.js. So I have already covered a couple of 10, 10, 10 or 12 different videos where we talked about core concepts of Swell.js and it's all about how to write component, how to deal with the forms, how to, I mean, how the Swell.js is different from all the other framework. We have covered a lot of videos and we have covered all those concepts in depth. Now, this is all about learn by doing, learning by doing. So we are going to cover as many examples as we can using sandbox and we will try to learn as much as we can. Because from now onwards, I'm going to cover the Swell.js forms, the, the data validation in the forms, the routing, single page application, how to manage the store in Swell.js all those uh, high level concepts we are going to cover before that just a quick refresher we can just talk about simple to do app and uh, the data binding okay how to create a variables like simply let's say i have a to do's to do's is an array where i'm going to manage all the to do's and this is the input which i have which i have so i'm writing currently the code inside button.js but uh, we can remove this and we can focus only on appswell.js okay and here i'm writing simple these two variables these two variables we are going to use in our code because to do is an array and we are going to add new to do so we are going to uh, assign the new values inside to do array react we are going to do the reactive assignment so that to do's can be updated and new to do can be updated on the ui so let's say how we are going to write so we just create these functions add to do and what we simply do uh, let's say input is something which we are going to track from the input text field so let's say we can do the binding of this one so what do we have we have simple input text field is from the input text field we are getting the value or we can simply create a simple form and here on submit this is a DOM event right and or we can just directly call this method add to do whenever you are submitting the form prevent default this is DOM event modifier and inside this we have simple input text field input type text and we will do the data binding so that whatever you are typing inside the input text field so we can simply do is bind value this is how we do the two way data binding and we are going to capture the value inside input input type text and the value is input so this is how we are doing the bind this should be curly braces and then input type text placeholder so whatever you are doing this and we can have simple button inside this button what we are trying to do is simply add okay now what we do is when we type something and add then what we are doing we have to add that data inside this to do's array so we are going to do the reactive assignment what we can simply do is to do's we have so we are going to assign it back so this is my existing to do's and this is my new object which i'm going to add so this is the text which is input and id simply you can just say is math.random dot to string let's say random with a 36 string and then we will do a substring of that two to nine so we are just generating a random string for that and then once this is done to do's is assigned we can set the input to the empty value okay simply to do and now once we have the to do list what we will do we iterate on to them and how we can iterate simply we can this is an ordered list and we can write this is how we write each and to do's as to do i mean to do is an array as to do sync for single iteration and we can pass the id 
to do dot id and this is the closure of this whole block so here we can write each and then we can simply add all the logic inside it because this is a for each loop we can add simply the text like in each what text we are having so i will just simply finish this with simple html and here what we have is we can have a simple span tag inside this span tag we are going to print to do dot text and we can also have a on click onto this let's say how we write a dom event on click and here we can remove this to do item so how we write a dom event on click and we can pass we can call remove to do and we can pass the id to do dot id right and remove to do i can define here i'm taking the id as input i will just do the filter and assign this back so that we will have the filtered output so i can say is uh, to do is equal to to do's dot filter remove only that particular to do where id equal equal to this id return me all the to do's where id not equal equal to this that will give me all the remaining ids and this is how we can remove the to do uh, let's say substring are we doing something wrong to string and dot substring so simply we are adding these items and when you do a click what is what we are going to do we are doing on click remove to do you can see magic so here i can keep adding one two i mean i just think mention more about the html it's just about the concept how we are doing it dom event with the modifiers how we are doing the binding of the value how we are iterating, iterating on to the array how we are writing the dom events and passing the value if you already familiar with any of the framework like react angular it's nothing different when it comes to the code like handling the dom event passing the data through through the props sending the callback event to the parent component all these concepts are kind of similar the compilation approach and the syntax is different in all these different framework so uh, let's see in the next video we are going to cover these small small examples because writing these gives us more confidence